Hello friends, my name is Rana Masood. Today we shall discuss about a topic, the key terms used in project time management. Friend, today's topic is very, very interesting and very important with respect to uh, project management, especially if you are a student of PMP or planning to give exam of uh, project management near future. So this is an important topic for you. So let's uh, start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my new videos can reach to you. So let's uh, start. First term is lead. Friend, lead is a term, uh, a successor activity is said to have a lead when it comes, when it can start before the predecessor activity. For example, activity B can start two days before the finish of the activity A. Just take as an example, for example, start preparing the test environment two weeks before the development activity finish. Okay, so this is an example of lead. Now, lag. Lag, a successor activity is said to have a lag when it needs to be delayed with respect to the predecessor activity. For example, activity B can start two days uh, after the finish of activity A. Uh, just take an exa example that need to wait for few days until the foundation settled and uh, you can start work for the pillar uh, working. Okay, Just take, take as an example. Then another term is rolling wave planning. Rolling wave planning is an iterative planning technique in which the work to be accomplished in the near, near, uh, in the near term is planned in detail while the work in the future is planned as a higher level. It is a form of a progressive elaboration. Then the next one is the analogous estimating. This estimating is based on previous project data if the last five similar projects took six months this one will take also take six months for example you are implementing e-commerce solution and previously uh, you have observed that uh, two to three projects have of e-commerce for similar e-commerce projects were completed within six months so you can uh, estimate that this project which is very similar to uh, the previous one so the, you can also complete this project within six months and Remember that expert judgment is also required in the analogous estimation. Then a parametric uh, estimating this uses a mathematical model to calculate projected times for an activity based on historical records from the previous and other information. Just taken as an example for example 10 kilometer work of construction work take one week. So you can say for example 20 kilometer of construction work will take two weeks. Okay, so this is a, an example of parametric estimation. Then effort. Effort is the total amount of work required to complete the activity. Then the next one is the duration. Duration is the calendar time required to complete an activity. For example, an activity requires 10 people to work 5 days. So total effort is 50% days and duration is 5 days. So friend, thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please uh, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you.